So today I got to show a little love to my crypto mining fans. I know it's been a little while since I've did a crypto video for you guys. Sorry. But so today what I want to do is show you how you can crypto mine using solar using a power station like this Blue Eddy AC200L. Now you might be able to use other power stations. I'm not 100% sure, but this one does work and I've already been running it and testing it. And the reason why it does work is because it has some pretty specific features and I'll show you. So in the app, it has this working mode and it comes default as uh, I think standard UPS but if you set it to PV priority UPS what it does is if you have solar hooked into this and you have your AC power hooked into this if solar is available it'll use the solar first so if you have a mining rig plugged into one of the AC outputs here the solar power coming in will power your mining rig and not your house AC. So during the daytime hours when there's sun on your panels, you'll be running on strictly solar, provided there's enough solar that you have to run your rig. Uh, this thing will actually take up to 1200 watts of solar. But what happens is when the sun goes down, it'll start running off the battery and then after the battery is depleted, it'll switch over to your grid. So you'll have solar power during the daytime. And as the sun starts to go away, it'll go ahead and start using the battery. And as the battery starts to deplete, it'll switch over to the grid. So your system will just continue to run. It'll run on the grid overnight, run on solar during the daytime. The only downside is this thing can be rather expensive i th i think they're this one's like twelve hundred dollars somewhere around there it may be less or more the way that you can kind of justify the cost of this is well this would also be a power backup solution so if you lost power at your home you could unplug your mining rig and use this to power essential devices at your home you know charging your phone you could watch tv you could hook your internet back up you could plug in an electric blanket you could cook with it uh, so yeah if you factor in that it could be your power backup solution at your home then it starts to not look so expensive and then if you're running your mining rig off of it well then you're kind of paying for this thing to be your backup energy system for your home all right guys so let's go ahead and hook this up and i'll show you how it works all right, so I got the AC200L power station hooked up down here. I've got solar coming in here, and then I've got my AC grid house power plugged in here. And then I've got the miner up here with just an AC power supply. So this is just all AC. I've got the AC output on, on the AC 200 and this is the power cord to the miner so let's just go ahead and plug it in all right so that's starting up right now and while that's starting up I'll show you what I got going on here for solar Uh, these are 385 watt bifacial panels and I don't have all four of them hooked up I actually only have three so I've got this one this one and this one run in series and the reason why I don't have this last one because if I ran that one in series it would put me over the voltage level of that blue eddy so with just the three it keeps me under the hundred and what is that 145 or 145 or 150 volt limit uh, can't remember if it's 150 or 145 
it's 145. Yeah, so you cannot go over 145 volts on the PV input on this. So those three in series keeps me under that limit. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the app so we can see what's going on here. All right, so we can see we are pulling 460 watts from our mining rig up here. So this is using 460 watts. And we're not using any solar or any grid yet. And that's because the battery is still 100%. Once this battery goes down below 100%, it's gonna start pulling power from the solar, which is over here. So let me, there we go. Now we're pulling solar, see there? We're getting 531 watts of solar and we're pushing out 465 to our mining rig. Yeah, so this is basically just gonna run like this all day long while there's sun. And there's more than 533 watts of solar out there. It's just only using that amount because that's all it needs. I can actually unplug the solar right now and let it run the battery down some. Let's see here. See there, we got zero solar. It's only running off the battery. So let's let that run down some. And then when I plug in the solar, you'll see that it jumps up to using uh, a lot more. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so take a look. Now we're pulling 970 watts from solar. So what I did, I just went ahead and plugged in this heater so we could pull more battery out. I'll go ahead and unhook that heater now because it's done what we need it to do. Yeah, so there it is. Now we're back to pulling 464 watts for mining and then we've got 967 from the solar. Yeah, so just cruising along there on the sun, mining away. So I'm just gonna let that run until it's later tonight and I'll show you what it does. Uh, when the sun goes down, I'll show you that it's running off the battery and I have it set to 20%. So when it gets down to 20% on the battery, then it starts to run off the AC power of my house. All right, guys, so it's getting a little bit later in the day. It's 540 right now. And so I've got a lot of shading on the panels. The sun's lower in the sky now. And we're doing 217 watts. So we're pulling power out of the battery now. I mean, we still, we still do have power coming in from the solar but it's not enough to cover the full output so that's why we're pulling power out of the battery um, and then later on when the sun's completely down this battery will start to drain and like i said it'll get down to 20 percent because that's kind of where i've got it set and then it'll it'll go on ac from my house and that'll start powering the load right here all right, so I'll just let it keep going and I'll come back later tonight when it's running off just AC. All right, so it's officially dark outside. It's about 9 p.m. And we are now running off the grid power. So we see there's 460 watts coming in from the grid and 464 going out to our minor there's zero coming in from solar as you can see there obviously because it's dark outside so our battery is down to 19 percent i've got it set to basically stop running off the battery at that point and run off the grid that's why it's doing that so basically what happen is in the morning when we get sun on the solar panels We'll get solar coming in, it'll start charging the battery. And eventually when there's enough solar and the battery has been charged up a little bit, we'll stop 
having power come in from the grid it does that automatically and then just goes back to running off solar yep so it works I've actually ran it for like probably about a week and it works fine every day it does it just runs off solar and it charges that battery back up runs the the miner and at night the miner just runs off you know it switches to grid and runs it off the grid power so if you guys are going to try something like this especially with this unit i did have to update the firmware so you have to do that in the app you have to connect to the unit via bluetooth not wi-fi and it gives you an option to update to the latest firmware before i updated to the latest firmware it didn't it didn't do it it didn't work like this with a solar priority and all that kind of stuff it just wasn't working properly when i finally updated it it was working properly but anyways i think that's going to be it for the video <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this setup is this something that you would do i'll leave links in the description for this blue eddy ac200l and i'll catch you guys in the next one